Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Triple offset butterfly valve is the highest level of butterfly valve in valve industry. It can work in any kind of process flow control system for shutoff function. And this kind of butterfly valve can instead global valve and gate valve work in very high temperature and high pressure environment. So in this video, we are talking about what is triple offset butterfly valve and why this kind of butterfly valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment than other kind of butterfly valve. Before we are talking about what is triple offset butterfly valve, let's talk about what is butterfly valve. Most butterfly valve will look like this. It all has a disc in the center of the valve body. And then we are going to use very long valve stand to connect the valve disc and the valve body together. And then we are going to operate the valve by the valve stand to turning the valve disc in 19 degree to open and close the valve. So that is the basic function for butterfly valve. Commonly, most butterfly valve has one disadvantage, which is, for example, this kind of butterfly valve. When we are going to close the valve, the valve disc will going to cooperate with the valve seat to seal the pressure. So we must design the valve disc outside diameter are bigger than the valve seat inside diameter. So when we are going to close the valve, the valve disc we are going to squeeze the valve seat and then to seal the pressure. Because the valve disc are made by metal, so we are going to use softer material to make the valve seat. So when we are going to close the valve, the valve disc we are going to squeeze the valve seat to seal the pressure. Because the valve seat is soft material, so this kind of butterfly valve cannot work in high temperature and high pressure environment. So that is disadvantages for this kind of butterfly valve. But all butterfly valve has one advantage, which is butterfly valve can make a very big size valve and save a lot of material. And the butterfly valve are very quickly to open and close. So that is advantageous for butterfly valve. So valve engineer really want to design one kind of butterfly valve. It has butterfly valve advantages and also abundant butterfly valve disadvantages, which can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. So that is the reason why we design one kind of butterfly valve, which is called a triple offset butterfly valve. To design one kind of valve working in high temperature and high pressure environment, this kind of valve, the valve disc and the valve seat must be made by solid metal. So engineer gets the inspiration from another kind of valve, which is called a global valve. Because global valve, the valve disc and the valve seat made by solid metal, so global valve can work in very high temperature and high pressure environment. So engineer going to think, can we use the global valve disc design to design a butterfly valve disc to make the butterfly valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. The global valve valve disc is a comb shape, is a comb shape. Just like this illustration, here is a comb shape. We were going to use one part of this comb shape to become a global valve valve disc. And the global valve valve disc we are going to connect with the valve stand. The valve stand we are going to lift up the valve disc to open the valve and push the valve disc to close the valve. So that is the basic principle for global valve how to seal the pressure inside the flow control system. So the valve engineer is going to think can we just use this global valve valve disc and then put in vertical direction to make it become a butterfly valve. We can put a valve shaft in the center of the valve disc and then we are going to turn the valve disc to 19 degree to open the valve and then we can turn the valve disc to 0 degree to close the valve. That is a very good idea but unfortunately that is impossible because when you are going to turn the valve disc, the upside the disc can immediately left the valve seat. But unfortunately, the downside, because it is comb shape, the left side outside diameter are bigger than the right side outside diameter. 
So when you're going to turn in the valve disc, the disc will interference with the valve seat. So that is impossible to turn in the valve disc. And also, the disc and the valve seat are all made by solid metal. So when you design one kind of disc form, when you're going to turn in the disc, the disc and the valve seat will not interference with each other. So let's look at uh, how the triple opposite butterfly valve going to design one kind of valve disc. When the disc going to turn in, the disc and the seat will not interference with each other. This is a triple opposite butterfly valve valve disc look like. Compared with global valve valve disc, global valve valve disc, the disc center line were perpendicular with the comb shape center axis. But the triple opposite butterfly valve, the triple opposite butterfly valve valve disc, the center line were not perpendicular with the center axis of the comb shape, which is going to perpendicular with the bottom edge of the comb shape. So two kinds of valve disc will choose different part of the comb shape to make different form of the valve disc. So that is difference between two kind of design for two kind of valve disc. The reason why triple opposite butterfly valve center line are perpendicular with the comb shape bottom edge because this kind of design can make the valve disc downside, left side extreme point and the right side extreme point, the distance with the valve disc center axis, the two distance is the same. So engineer think maybe this kind of design can make the valve disc when going to turn into 19 degree, the disc will has no interference with the valve seat. So let's try does this kind of design can make the valve disc can turn into 19 degree without interference with the valve seat. So we put the valve shaft in the center of the valve disc and then we're going to turn in the valve disc to 19 degree. As we can see the upside is the same with the global valve valve disc form. It immediately left the valve seat when you're going to turn in the valve disc. And the downside actually are much better than the global valve valve disc when you're going to turn in the valve disc to 19 degree. But actually, when you look carefully, the valve disc still has some very little interference with the valve seat. It is still going to grab, it is still going to has rubbing with the valve seat. Because the valve seat and the valve disc are all made by solid metal, because we want this kind of valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. So we must design one kind of valve disc which is going to turn into 19 degree without any kind of interference with the valve seat. So engineer is going to think, can we put the valve shaft in another place? Maybe it can make the situation getting better. So design engineer design one kind of butterfly valve, which the valve shaft are not put in the center of the valve disc, which is going to put in another area. So it will offset the center of the valve disc. It will offset the center of the valve disc and also will offset the center axis of the valve disc. So we put the valve shaft in another point. So let's try if we put the valve shaft in this area, when we're going to turn in the valve disc, does this area still has interference between the valve disc and the valve seat. So we're going to push the valve disc to turn into 19 degree. So the miracle thing just happened. The valve seat and the valve disc will have no interference. When we're going to open the valve, the valve disc, the downside, will immediately 
will immediately left the valve seat. It has no rubbing, it has no interference. And also the upside, the, situ the situation still is the same. So that is the reason why we call this kind of butterfly valve is triple offset. The triple offset, the first offset is the valve disc center line are not perpendicular with the comb shape center axis. That is the first offset. And another two offset is the shaft location are offset the center line and also offset the center axis of the valve disc. So that is the basic principle for triple offset butterfly valve. Here is the most common triple offset butterfly valve illustration going to explain for people what is three offset for triple offset butterfly valve. We already explained what is three offset. One is the comb shape is offset and another two offset is for the valve shaft. The valve shaft location are offset the center line of the valve disc and offset the center axis of the valve disc. So that is for today. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye-bye.